Hi, I'm Jessica Majors. And I'm Amy Clark. We're here at Performa Albrecht. We're with Wordcraft. We're going to talk about some of our top products, both plastics, forms, and labels. Um, so, a little bit about the company. Some of you might be familiar with Wordcraft, some of you may not. We're a family-owned company, print manufacturer that's been in business for over 40 years. Um, where we see the most success with Performa is our plastics division. Um, this packet that you have in front of you is our, the top products out of each of our divisions at Wardcraft. I'm going to touch mainly on the right side because we've, um, <coughs> we had another performer rep tell us that we were kind of broad and just an overview was just over overwhelming and they, they, didn't get a, they didn't take a lot from what we had said. So, um, again, Wardcraft is made up of four different divisions. We have a specialty coatings division, labels, forms, and then plastics division. Um, Okay, the first few forms that you have on top of your packet, the first one is the Platinum Partners. If you'll go ahead and just fill that out, it will update all the information that we currently have for you in our system, or if you're not in our system, we'll go ahead and get you added. Um, and by signing the bottom of this, it allows us to send you promotions, coupons, things like that, and just keep you up to date on what's going on with Warcraft. Um, we limit those to about two a week. And then the next few sheets are the, the exciting stuff here. Um, at Wardcraft, we're all about giving back. So we have incentive programs for $25,000 new business. Within a rolling year, we'll get you one of these incentives. We have um, fishing, golf, we have a spa day, NASCAR, or we also have hunting. You don't have to keep track of it. We'll keep track of it for you. And then we also have one that is only $2,500 new business and what that is is it's a, a griller package um, Roger Kraft he owns several different LLC's one of them being a premium beef so this is all grass-fed homegrown cattle that they process themselves so it's all um, the prime meat and again those are just automatic without you keeping track we keep that keep track of that for you first product I'm going to talk about are tags um, Wardcraft isn't your traditional tag house, however we can, however we can do tags. Um, we can do anywhere from a plastic tag to um, a paper tag, and that's really where our sweet spot lies. Um, anything that's going to be printed on, that's, that's really a, a good one for, for us. But any kind of tag that you can think of, we'd like to take a look at it. Hang badges. I know, um, I know that we, I talked to one of the reps out of this office. And maybe, maybe she was out of another office as well, but you guys do the um, passes, the backstage passes for several of the, um, like we've seen Tim McGraw go through, I think, and, and several, which is, which is really neat. Um, that is considered a tag or, or a badge for us. Okay, the next product is um, Fodies. What this is, this is actually a patent product, and it's a picture frame adhesive. And this kind of this takes the place of a magnet um, for stainless steel appliances. A lot of people are going to stainless steel. Magnets won't stick. This will, and it'll stick to any flat surface without leaving a residue. Um, it can be um, sticked re, or stuck, reapplied. And if it gets dirty and it won't stick, you can just wipe it down with a wet washcloth, and it'll actually stick. Um, we've seen a lot of these. One of the the, the um, where we've seen this sold was Walgreens did a special promotion for Christmas and they sold it at their their photo counter in the store with you develop pictures and you get a photies so that, that was one of Wardcraft's biggest orders um, we've also seen where we've had one of the distributors pitch it to Disney and that's actually where those graphics came from anybody that has photos where they want to be able when you're leaving a theme park like Kings Island where they're trying to sell you photos at the end of the day, this would be a great place because they can tag their name on it and brand those photos to their amusement park. We've seen it used in universities where people can have it in their gift shops and maybe they are having volleyball, football, soccer, all labeled for that university. So it's a great way to get your brand back on the front of the refrigerator or lockers, walls. We've seen it used for healthcare and dentist office where they always want to put pictures up on the wall for the perfect checkup. It's a great way to display a photo because the patented part of that, as Jessica talked about, is that polyfilm that goes across the front. 
So you won't find any other frame like that on the market that actually protects the picture. Software companies are another cool one where you can put it on the back of a laptop and note a software company on a laptop. So that's been kind of a cool, anywhere from small quantities up to large, and we do different sizes. That one is a four by six, we can do five by seven, eight by 10, and then we can do the photo booth size. Uh, the next couple products I'll actually talk about together, the plastic PVC cards and then the plastic cards and carriers. Um, we, we print on two different types of plastic. One is called, we call it composite, and one is actually PVC. The difference is composite is a synthetic core with laminate on the front and back, and PVC is just printing directly on the piece itself, kind of like PVC pipe. We can do pretty much the same thing for either one. It just kind of depends on what your customer's needs are. Um, these are PVC, the PVC, and then where's the um, gift cards, hotel key cards. We can do a mag stripe. We can do matte laminate if they want a writable back. We can do that on PVC or the composite. Um, we can do one-to-one -one variable. And, on, and that's where, where the difference kind of lies is with our composite, we can actually do one-to-one -one variable. If somebody wants their picture and their name, that's where the composite is, is the, the product that you would lean more towards. Um, we do plastic mailers, which we'll actually get in, into that a little bit more. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, but it's made up of our composite material. And this allows the one-to-one <laughs> -one variable. This is our fastest growing product in the plastics division. We see it fit really well in marketing companies. Any, any company that's doing direct mail already or that wants to do a direct mail campaign to drive up their revenue, <laughs> the plastic has a higher perceived value than the paper. Um, the plastic versus the, just your standard paper postcard has a higher return. We've, we've seen people come back and it's more than double their return on investment. Um, so again, this is a great product. We do all the mailing for you. It doesn't require an envelope. You send us the artwork and um, a list and we mail it. You get the discounted postage rates. And an advantage that Wardcraft has is in 2008, the postal regulations changed. And if you weren't already producing plastic mailers, then you, you no longer get the automated rate. Wardcraft was grandfathered in because we were already producing plastic mailers. So we get the best available postage rate that there is for plastic. So that's an advantage for Wardcraft. Um, and with the, with the composite, we do library cards, um, Fundraising cards, I'm sure everyone in here has probably bought a fundraising card at one time or another. That's a huge business for us. Um, we, we've we actually, we're just coming out of that season right now, but it, it actually more than doubled our capacity last year. Um, and what the fundraising cards are, are like your local fo football team, baseball team. Um, you know, you buy a card, but the, the rep, how they do, they go into the school and they say, you know, you sell these cards, I keep, you sell them for 20, I keep 10 and you get the other 10, so it's, it's a, a good money maker. Um, again, the hotel key cards. And then we can do the plastic gift cards all on one piece, so it doesn't have to be affixed and um, all in the, in the plastic material. Or we can do the other, which is the, the paper gift card carrier with the gift card affixed. Um, the nice thing about a lot of our processes is we have camera verification. So this one has a barcode. If the barcode even need to be on the carrier, um, there we would guarantee that there's no mix matching. The nice high quality digital print um, picture quality is nice for this product as well. It's kind of nice too when you get into card and carrier. Because we're doing it under one roof, we can make sure that the card and the carrier, the colors are right with advertising. We know the importance of how that piece looks when it leaves. So we control the whole piece. We're not sourcing any of it which brings the advantage to you guys. You don't have to worry about cord. These are what we call shelf talkers, shelf danglers. Um, this is our PVC material. Um, and what these are used for is they're created to insert into a shelf and then sell a product either when you're looking at the product or as you're walking by, it catches your eye to draw your attention to the product that you're trying to sell. Um, table talkers, we have several of these already set up here. Um, <coughs> These are great for any, any tabletop, counter space. Um, these are made up of our composite material. Um, they're extremely durable. And the big, the, a couple of the biggest vertical markets we see these used are in our restaurants and hospitals. 
they, or hotels. They can be wiped down and cleaned and reused. Um, one of our biggest orders is actually for a hotel and they display the cable channels. Um, we have several different sizes. We can do custom die cuts. We, we've done one as a, a wine bottle or even a pork chop. Several different, I mean, the, you can die cut it in any shape that's really necessary. And this one is um, one that I really like. It has a slit so that it displays your business cards as well. This is for real estate. And then another one that is one of our biggest, we see it used are in home parties. Like Mary Kay, it's not Mary Kay. Um, but they take it in and with every packet. They take a table talker to set up at their home party and display their information. So okay. we also see it used a lot for trade shows. If you're going into a trade show and you want to display a uh, process or a certain product, it's a great way to have signage on your table and be very easy to assemble. A lot of the plastic pieces that you see that are out there, sometimes it, you think it takes a rocket scientist to figure it out. But with these shipping flat, it's a huge advantage. People like that. The fact that they wipe down and they stay clean uh, is an advantage that hospital and clinics, labs, they like because the piece always looks very clean. And obviously in that environment, that's a key point where paper tends to break down and the laminates tend to flag on the edges. This product doesn't do that. Uh, it's been neat for delis. Um, I think this one is one of my favorites. It's a writable laminate. So if you have a coffee shop or a deli that wants to feature a flavor of the day, a sandwich of the day, it's a really easy way to display this on their countertop. And you can go you know, even to the larger size so it's more visible for, for the consumer to see. And one thing I, I'd like to uh, mention before I forget, um, Warcraft has our own machinery division. And we've been known for you, you come up with an opportunity and you think that the market's huge for it and we're not currently producing it and you think that it's a, a great idea, bring it to us and we're more than willing to, to take a look at it and see if that's something that we can produce. Um, like several of our number one actually products, we started out with, you know, um, trial and error, trial and error, and now it's one of our biggest selling products and that's the laser beam product. So. Anything that you can think of, just bring it to our attention and we'd be more than happy to take a look at that. The next product is a VIP 30. It's another mailer option. Um, this is a mailable piece that doesn't require an envelope um, and it's not fully plastic. If it does require, you can use it, it fits in a number 10 envelope. Um, I'm just smiling. Um, <laughs> It can fit in a number 10 envelope if it requires more sensitive information like an insurance card that you're mailing out. Um, or it can, again, just mail alone and we'll do all the postage. Just another piece of direct mail that we can do for you. Um, the neat thing about the mailers too is everything's exposed. So one of the big things with direct mail is you want it to get looked at and you're not hiding anything in an envelope. So it's a lot of times we all sort the mail before we even get back from the mailbox or from the post office and we already know in our head what we're keeping and what we're throwing away. The 30 mil heavier pieces have the perception of value. The card gives the perception of some type of gift card. It, at the very least, people tend to pop that off and stick it in their wallet. So even if it's never used, it's a billboard all the time with your customer's name on it, branding their name in their head to, to hopefully go use the card. But Wordcraft did a couple mailings, um, and we used to be happy with a half a percent on a direct mail piece. And what we saw with, with the plastic was one mailing came back at 7%, and the other mailing came back at 8.5%. And we found people calling us months after the mailing had gone, gone out, and they actually kept it on their desk. So it's something that people do keep around. The plastic, even though it's more expensive than the paper, definitely does bring more value back, especially for a customer that has a, great, a good list and knows who they're mailing to. So the, the next product we have is a fulfillment. We can do this piece also. And again, you send us a list, we do all the mailing for you. Um, envelope, this is another, if it re, you know requires sensitive information that can't be exposed in the mail. Um, and again, this is where our camera verification comes in handy. The letter will we'll guarantee that the card, the person, you know, Jennifer is getting Jennifer's card with her ID and insurance information. Um, which is a nice, I mean, you know, pretty important. Okay, and then the next piece, um, everybody familiar with Pressure Seal? Maybe a little bit? Heard about it? Pressure Seal is a, not a new product, but at Wardcraft we, we've added a lot of value to the product. And we've also 
Um, again, with the direct mail piece, uh, the idea is to get it in the mailbox and for people to open it, look at it, and read it. Um, pressure seal, people tend to think it's a check, pin number, important government information. And even if you have an idea that it's probably not that important, you still open it. So we have a, what this is called a VTAB product. Um, we do, again, we do all the mailing for you, send us a list. This has the automated rates. Um, just another nice direct mail piece that we have here. And then with the pressure seal, we have several, I think, 20 stock options. Um, we can also do it in jumbo, jumbo rolls. The next few products I'll talk about together as well. Um, the real card, dry tack card, and integrated card. And what our real card is also a patent product, and that's another thing. Uh, Warcraft has several patent products, which is nice because once you get it and sell it, it we won't sell it through anyone else. Uh, we'll protect your imprint. Um, this is one of those patent products. This is our number two selling product, and it's good for insurance cards. Um, what it is is it's a full laser compatible lay, fat, lay flat sheet. Um, so the nice thing about that is that you can put 200 in a printer and walk away and they'll print. Um, Delta Dental, Blue Cross Blue Shield, those are the, the kind of companies that do this, use this product. Um, DryTac can do pretty much the same thing. The difference between the DryTac card and the real card, <coughs> when you pull out the DryTac card, there's, oh, and the real card you can print on the front and the back. And it's a true seven mil plastic card, durable. Once it's out of the carrier, it won't tear. It's resistant, water resistant. Um, the dry tack is actually, this is a better sample because this actually shows the dry tack and the integrated all in one. It pulls off the sheet there and it's a clean release and you can print information on the sheet behind it. And was, we're not gonna speak about all of them so I don't know if you can take a deep breath and know that we're not gonna go through every sample that's on the, the left side. but. There are a few samples that we'll point out just because um, there are top selling products for distribution. So if you go to the left side of the packet, um, you're going to see a product called Fold Under. And it's going to look like this in the packet. And you're going to see the next sample, which is called Duplex. And it's going to look like this. And I'm going to talk about these two products basically together. This is for the um, distribution center that wants to be able to put the packing slip on the outside of the carton. Um, we probably all received a package in the mail, uh, and on the outside of the box there was the plastic pouch with an 8.5 by 11 packing slip folded up and put inside of it. And then there was probably a UPS or a FedEx shipping label on the other side of that carton. That process is typically in three steps. It normally takes a couple different printers. A lot of times it even takes a couple different people to facilitate getting those pieces all together to get on the carton. And then when the carton goes to ship, because the shipping label is the last part, they're putting the wrong shipping label on the carton and miss shipping product. So that could upset a customer. It costs money to send it out wrong, costs money to get it back, and then money to resend it. So. There's a lot of problems with the process that most distribu distribution centers uses. So with either of these two products, we, we show them together because they have a lot of the same traits. Um, we take that process and combine it into these. So starting with our fold under, this is basically going to be used in either a laser or a thermal <laughs> printer. It's simplex printed, and when it removes from the sheet, you'll notice at the back there's adhesive missing in part of it. The packing slip simply folds down under the back, this is applied to the carton. When it gets to the end user, you zip that strip and it exposes either a packing slip or packing slip with a return label. So it's a really clean process. It's pretty much impossible to misship the, the package. Uh, it really cuts down a lot of time and consumables in your process. The other one is our duplex. Same thing. You're combining the shipping label with the packing slip, but you're actually duplex printing this one. So you're printing a shipping label here and you're printing a packing slip on the back side. A lot of customers like this because the only waste to this is, is the liner. So if you have some customers that are concerned about landfills and, and what we're throwing away, that's the only waste. This gets applied to the carton. 
complete, just zip the strip again, expose the, the packing slip. Are you guys familiar with Sandmar? Mm -hmm. Do you guys buy a few things from them? Mm -hmm. They just bought this label from another distributor. So if you have other promotional products people that ship you guys stuff all the time and, and start looking at some of their packaging because they could become your customer. And that's what a distributor did with Sandmar. So that, that now is a lot of labels and it's repeat business, which is kind of nice too. Um, the only other product that uh, I'm going to talk about with distribution is another product, and we refer to this as an integrated. And this product is one for the customer that wants to put that packing slip inside the carton. And typically it's going to run through a laser printer. It's going to print the packing slip information, your shipping label, and then the bottom peels off. This gets applied to the carton and then this drops down inside the package. So once we receive it, we pull this out, we verify the information. This product uh, brings an advantage because we take that a step further. We actually do printing under silicone. So this is a great way to do marketing on a piece that typically just costs your customer money. Um, you now can either promote a new product, drive them to a website, maybe put a coupon there. And it's a great way for them to be able to utilize something that normally just looks like a, a blank piece of liner staring at you, like this one is what we're used to seeing with no information communicated at all. So again, great way to look at advertising and marketing in a whole different way when they're already purchasing this. Are you guys selling any kind of label applications? I know a lot of, of what I hear or I think of when I think of this of you guys is promotional products for the most part, but are there forms and labels that come along with that? Some? Is it something that you guys are comfortable with or is it kind of a scary, is it different because it's it's not promotional? We, we offer a lot of different training that's just online. If you, if you get some opportunities that, <coughs> that you would like to learn more about, you just call us up on the phone and you know we can take 20 minutes on the phone and talk specifically about a print product. Um, I know everybody tells you this, but you guys are in there and they already have their trust on promotional. Print is really just something that it's, it, I don't know how you guys sell promotional, I think it's way harder than print. So sometimes if you're not used to selling it, it can look complicated, but for the most part a lot of the stuff we're showing today ties in really well with what you guys are already seeing out there. So if we can help with that, it's not uncommon that um, we can take our WordPress shirt off and come in and put, you know, put the Performa logo on and go in as your plant and try to sit down with you and your customer and help you sell it. There's a lot of things that we would love to be able to do to, you know, we get a little bit of business from you guys, but we would sure love to see more, make it easier to, to sell more of what we're offering. Um, in addition to that, uh, Jessica and I brought today, we have a lot of packets that are vertical market related. So if you're already into, say, restaurants selling promotional, you know, give us a call. You could, at the very least, leave a printed you know, everything in this packet has to do with restaurants. So at the very least, you could put your business card and leave a packet just to let them know you're not just a promotional people, you're print too. And we have that for several different verticals. We brought one of each today, but if anybody wants us to send more, you can either mark it on your platinum partner or just tell us and we'd be happy to send that. But um, really, that's, that's all we were going to talk about today because we didn't want to cram so much in a short time and, and leave your head spinning too much. But <clears throat> WordCraft is a company that can probably pretty much do anything you ask us to do. Sometimes we're not always the best supplier and we can help you find other, you know, PLPs and MVPLPs to help with those programs, but we just want you to call us and, and uh, do our best to, to help you with it. So with that, we're done. Thank you for letting us come in. Thank you. Hi, Amy Clark again with WordCraft, here with Jessica Majors, we're at Performa Albrecht. I want to thank you for looking at the products that we brought today. That's just a small sampling of many of the top products that we have, many more patented, and a lot more vertical markets to hit. So if you have any questions at all, we'd love to work with you on it. Again, I'm Amy, and this is Jessica.